Okay, time for some more random net. On to round two, game two. Again, uh, Jank Tournament hosted on the 10th of July over at Phoenix Games in Starbridge. Uh, we saw uh, game one earlier where uh, I managed to just uh, score out as Corp. Now we're swapping sides. Uh, so I have Quetzal as my randomly assigned runner uh, on myself on the left there, uh, Johnny, uh, versus Chris on the right, uh, whose corp is Titan, Titan Transnational, I believe. Uh, so Quetzal, first four went to, obviously, I, li I like my jank, but you want you want to kind of build around their idea ability. So she can break one, break one, break her, one barrier subroutine. So a thought of uh, trying to break -less rig uh, intrigued me so yes this is a, a silly uh, uh, paintbrush keyhole surfer deck uh, pretty much turning everything into barriers so you can break it with Quetzal and then E3 to get through and running lots of knifed so any barrier you do surf or paint you then break so then you have to do it you don't have to deal with it again uh, and it's all right. It's all right. Uh, there is an emergency eater in there because uh, I did a bit of testing and found that sometimes you get stuck. But uh, yeah, it's kind of silly. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, and then we got Chris. Chris is Titan Transnational. Obviously, uh, every time you score an agenda, you put an agenda counter on it. So um, possible shenanigans there. Usually, the Atlas Train is a popular build. Kind of a slightly like sort of tier two fast advance idea. Uh, so I wonder what Chris is up to here. Yes, that is true. Pointing out old me, thanks. Uh, that Wayland is the corp of barriers, so uh, Quetzal loves her a bit of Wayland. Okay, so yeah, not sure what Chris is up to. Uh, quick look at my hand there. I seen. Oh, and I'm not too happy here, so I'm going to go for a mulligan. And in fact, Chris doesn't like the hand too, so uh, uh, let's go for a mulligan. Uh, so ideally, what I want to see, um, this it being Anarch, there aren't really any tutors. But what I am running is Logos, the console, which obviously after the corpse scores, I get to basically grab any card I want so that is kind of my only real um, resource uh, the only sort of tutoring I have uh, other than that I think a bit of money and a bit of draw I am uh, I don't like inject because uh, I can only have one copy of paintbrush and don't really want to put any recursion so I've not gone for inject I've had worse as an option um, I think if I have I gone for uh, wild side. Uh, oh no, I've, yeah. So uh, yeah, we got to keep this hand. I think I've got two same old things in hand, which is nice. So as soon as I get the engine up, it'll mean lots of knives. Uh, deja vu, of course, to get back the knife to play it again. Uh, and this is pretty much all on, all on R and T. Although I am running a cheeky run amuck to try and force some corp, some ice reses. And it's quite good for the remote attack. Um, I think I managed to. Uh, snipe in Oaktown uh, in a game that was off screen. Uh, that was quite good. Public agendas. The run amok loves public agendas. Anyways, Chris is off to a pretty legit start. Uh, that's Ice, Ice, Ice. I think he's got two atlases in hand, so possibly a bit risky. And yeah, not sure he actually even did a manage draw. So five credits. So. Nothing to lose. I think it's just worth a worth a poke. HQ Hive. Gosh. So there's. Yeah. So obviously it's got five subroutines right now, and it'll lose subs as it goes on. Uh, that has bankrupted uh, Chris. So click free. Sure gamble. Always good. Get some money. And surely fourth, we gotta have a poke at R and D while he's got the money. Ah, go same old thing. Okay. Apparently, I'm not interested in a free look at R&D. And uh, yep, sort of the alt art from same old thing from uh, uh, sort of this year's sort of regional season, 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 season 
Oh gosh. Hemna here, can't speak. Yeah, not sure why I didn't have a poke at R and D. Like the same old thing, it's not desperate to get out. Maybe I'm just a little worried about potential snares. Well, yeah, again, he's he's low on money. Not sure. Oh, and that's a June bug in hand. Oh gosh. And uh yeah, I think that's just straight up money. So two will go R and D. So again he's low on credit, so yeah, we'll have a look now. And I think that was a negotiator, I believe. Uh, oh, and I have the keyhole in hand. So, do I just slap that down and go to town? It forces him to respond. So, keyhole and... And, yeah, we're going for it. Keyhole is a major bonus deck. So, yeah, keyhole and run keyhole. So, I don't know if it's a case where Chris didn't want to spend his credits. Maybe this will force the res. I think it was another hive over R&D, which isn't good. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure Chris is too familiar with Keyhole. Yeah, Keyhole run. He chooses not to res. I don't think he can afford to res. So what have we got? Uh, so Melange is in there, and I think there was a June bug. But yeah, it's sort of cutting any economy. So any case so you could uh, get a footing um, economy wise I think if the corp knows what I'm doing and they just defend heavily on R&D I don't think I've got enough tricks I haven't got enough clicks to paint and run so yeah we definitely want to try and keep them down uh, I'm running amped up as well to try and sort of maximize keyhole runs when the opportunity rises like if there's an ice in the way knife it and that's free to go and try and get in as many keyhole runs. I'm also running medium, so which combos nicely. It builds the counters while you're keyholing. So if I do decide to go for a normal run, I can always see a bunch of cards. Uh, yeah, now he's drawn into Kronos, so looking pretty flooded there. But uh, I don't know how confident he is in. Uh, but he's just taking money, so he might be up onto five credits now, or six credits. So might be able to res that hive. It might be worth a go. So draw, as I generally have to draw. Two, we're going to go keyhole. Let's see what we've got. See if he's interested in defending, keeping me out. And it's a hive. Okay, so, yep, just to confirm, hive. Uh, so that's cost him five credits. He's now broke again, but until I get find my E3, that is a hard stop. Okay, and yep, just setting up some money. Again, like I said in the previous game, it is a jank tournament, but you you need basic economy to uh, to make decks function. So let's not uh, <laughs> no criticisms on playing a legit card like liberated accounts, please. <laughs> yep. So just asking Chris to score some agendas, lessen the uh, the hive's power. Uh, I think he's just taking another three which I'm happy with because I think at the moment my board is a little stronger than, than his. Surprised he hasn't had to discard now, but uh, so drawing, click one. I am broke. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, I've had a feeling he had to discard, so just discarding one there. I've already drawn, uh, so I've got run a mock, which, is, which we might hold for the remote. Two I'm going to draw, and uh, we've got Katie there as well, again. Four off the Liberated. And another same old thing. So just just slowly building, it's running free free of same old thing. So we have something like six nine knives, thanks to Deja. So once I get the E three up, that'll be a uh, a nice trade. So I break with Quetzal and pay four to lose the hive. And can't quite tell what he's got on the remote. He's, Chris is obviously considering considering if it's any good to him. He's holding the Atlas. So he's a little broke, but he's feeling confident enough he can go for the score. So, so I think that's install and take two. And Shipman from Kaguya. So place an advancement on two cards that can be advanced. So, uh, so 
So it's some kind of not sure what the ice is, but uh, obviously advanceable. One would hope, uh, and then uh, taking the credit. So I've got the runner mark in hand, so it might be worth a pop. So even if it is a barrier to defend, he has to trash it. So it's kind of a weird uh, inside job. It all depends how punishing the ice is. So drawing, and I think I've drawn into a knife. That's nice to see at the moment. Okay, interesting. Okay, so... Ooh, and I... Oh dear, and I did not pay for Katie Jones there, that is... Uh okay, so hopefully that doesn't... Yeah, but effectively I got a free Katie Jones there, so should have paid the two credits. Um yeah, I was obviously too keen to get her down and, cl and get her clicked. So Chris has signed a hedge fund. So he's feeling that that agenda is a safe for at least one more turn. So he's advancing, third click advancing. Ah, okay. And then he's scoring up Atlas. So not advanced. Um, not too sure, but it does... Uh, where's he got Titan? Actually, I think he's got Argus. Apologies. I think he's got Argus, which is probably why I didn't run last click before. So, sorry, it's not Titan. Uh, it's Argus. So, uh, when I, whenever I steal an agenda, I have to either take a tag or two meat damage. Yes. So, um, yeah, that would explain why I didn't run last click. Because I didn't want to deal with either of those. Okay, so... So drop the two daily casts, so I would have had enough money to afford it. Obviously those two credits shouldn't be there. But yeah, so I'm basically just moneying up, so I'm almost always drawing once to like slowly get through my deck. Ideally I want to see a Logos, um, or an E3. An E3 would be ideal, because I can start going to town t uh, against R&D. But that's fine, so just two points. I don't think this is the fastest of decks. I think it's more putting up putting up shields and uh, slowly scoring. Oh, and I think that was a World's Plaza. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, so World's Plaza. It can hold up to three assets. And... You can ins you can ins install and res uh, an asset on World's Plaza, lowering the cost by two. Uh, so he's dropping the Tenma line, which, if you remember, cast your mind back, is uh, a Jinteki asset. Click, uh, swap two pieces of ice. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. I, th I think it, um, we're <laughs> we're in unknown territory now. Like. <laughs> We are not sure what this deck is uh, trying to do. I don't know if it's a case where we've got some positional ice, so he can just install in whatever order he wants and then swap them to a more desirable order. But uh, yeah, so he's dropping the hive onto the remote, maybe feeling that's uh, more s much safer at the moment. Uh, hive, of course, has lost too. Uh, but I'm just going to run amok HQ, knowing that if he reses that, um, he has to lose it. So again, I think run amok is better for the remote. So you can just basically choose to not res and just pot shot his hand. But I think he is loaded, so I think he's got he had an Atlas and a Cronus in there. And yep, yeah, we we pull pull the Atlas and and I take a tag, which is usually my uh, option of choice, and then pay the two credits. So yeah, I, okay, yeah. So we're doing that order. So yeah. So I haven't lost with the Katie credits, and then clicking up Katie. Okay, yeah. That was not paying for Katie was bad, but I think we've never managed to spend credits that weren't there. So not feeling too well. It's 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 not 
horrendous that we missed that uh, that cost. Uh, so Chris installing another one, and it's a dedicated research team, which an asset. Yes, uh, if the runner's tagged, uh, suffer two meat damage if the runner's tagged. So obviously, uh, if I choose to steal a tag, sorry, steal an agenda and opt to take the tag, I'm then suffering two meat damage, or I'm just taking two meat damage. So kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. So that's uh, yeah, we're that's that seem. Dedicated res research team, response team, rather, it seems it's uh, relatively strong. Oh, and we're. Yes, yeah, so, uh, sir, hold Chris there. Uh, it is more of a, a, a friendly level tournament, so I'm not going to call the judge over and uh, force the deke, well, the game loss for a legal ball state. So, yeah, he tried to put a. Uh, an asset in the same remote. You can't do that, I'm afraid. Wills Plaza is an asset. It's doing so much. <laughs> I mean, you could install the agenda on Wills Plaza. And, uh, yeah, installing the remote. And he's wondering about Tenmering, Tenmerline, to swap them over. I wonder if Chris does like the Jinteki mind games. Like, I'm not sure what they are. Possibly an ice wall? Or is it like a shadow? Like, the ice wall, t it didn't look much like an ice wall when we had a quick look. But he's, he's not going to swap. And I think he's just going to draw. So, still got the Cronus project in hand. It's two agendas apiece. So, drawing, and yep, we've got the E3 there. So, now R&D is, is looking wide open. So yeah, and click free. We're going to play the knifed knife R and D. And there are three subroutines thanks to the earlier score. So effective pain free for the run event and breaking. No, no, no. It's yep, so we knife the hive and we're just going for a regular access. And it's a shipment for Kuya. So I think we're just going to keyhole while we can. Because, uh, yep, you don't like that top card. It's no good to me. And uh, Scorched. Okay, so maybe not too surprising that Argus is on kill. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't have looked at those those cards. I mean, they are getting shuffled away, but uh, again, it is a friendly level tournament, so maybe we can let that go. Yeah, and arguing like, well, why'd you why'd you key hold the shipment? It's like, well, it's not an agenda. <laughs> Name the game as agendas. If it ain't an agenda, key hold it away. Forces the shuffle and offers new, fresh new cards next time. And yeah, that was my last click. So now he's got a big gaping hole. And now with my E3, got my same old thing. I can threaten to to do the same again. But it does mean I have to, the ice needs to be red. So this is kind of why we like to have the emergency, um, <coughs> excuse me, the emergency eater, just in case there's something horrible. At least we can throw money at to save ourselves. Okay, so daily cast payout, and we're probably going to draw. Two will go keyhole, so we'll do a speculative run, see what the piece of ice is. Depends if he wants to keep us out or if he can keep us out. Oh, and it's the checkpoint. So, yeah, so when he res it, it's an illicit piece of ice. Um, and there's Trace. Uh, if if the run's successful, do. Uh, I think it's free meat damage. Uh, so I'll let the Trace fire, and I'll. And then Jack out. So, to not make the run successful. 
No, no, I've got an opportunity to jack out before. Yeah, it's not successful though. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. But now that we know what it is, um, and we had a paintbrush, we could totally paint it. Uh, checkpoint is a coat gate. And it is a shame that you can just check, check out after. So it's kind of a soft end to run until you can sort of deal with it. So, yeah, probably just digging for the paintbrush now. Paintbrush of the locals. Uh, and getting rid of the liberated. So I feel like I've got enough money. Yeah, and Chris just pointing out how horrible it is if you let that free meat damage go off. Uh, but we're not interested in that, so. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting piece of ice. Uh, I tried it when it initially came out and quite liked it, but I think the runner can. You know, it can always pay the trace. I mean, I've got a fair bit of money th coming in now, so if I'm if I get impatient, I could always just pay through the trace. I think I have I've got consistently more money than Chris, so uh, and obviously the bad pub helps as well. <coughs> and uh, Ice Up HQ, so maybe a a bit of a, a tell that he's got stuff in hand he's worried about, and I believe he is flooded. I think we we'll find that out later. But uh, yep, so last of the daily cast money comes in, so we're looking good. Uh, 12 credits and a bad pub on this run. So drawing, e is no good. Two, and I think that's another run amok. So we might decide to take care of the World's Plaza. We can always knife that hive. Uh, again, it'll only cost us three credits. Uh, and if we trash the World's Plaza, all the cards hosted on, on it get trashed as well. Okay, but now I think we're just going to money up because uh, money is good. So money up some more. Okay, so just going to buy my time. Obviously, I'm drawing, but uh, but it seems like yeah, as I said, Chris is not flooded with cash. Uh, there's no scoring threat, so we're quite happy just to uh, just build and. Uh, so yes, credit hedge fund now back in the money. And drawing, hmm. Not sure. Last click draw is uh, so good. Probably want to draw earlier on your turn, especially if you just draw an agenda now. HQ is pretty well defended. Uh, yep. So taking off Katie, nine credits for a click seems all right. Ah, and we're knifing the hive, yeah, so um, old me was right there. So even with the bad pub, that's effectively only cost me one real credit. Oh, I've forgotten about the bad pub. Ah, and I'm spending the bad pub there. So four and the bad pub to bin the World's Plaza and it's gone. And I have basically removed <laughs> removed the server from the game. Yeah. I think the dedicated response team is pretty horrible. I don't know what other sort of tag punishment he's got. Uh, yeah, so drawing into a keyhole. Not seeing much in the way of program trashing. There is a deja vu as well, so just drawing again. Um, and more casts. So yeah, we're just waiting for Logos or Paintbrush now. Uh, and then we can start really attacking R&D. But yeah, money looks good. Um, board is relatively set up, you know, it's set up pretty well. So uh, uh, Caduceus in hand there, and I think another shipment. So Caduceus is going on the outside remote for a credit. Oh, and I think there was a punitive installing and advancing. Hmm. Okay. No, I have, and it's ultimately it is breakless, so I, I have no real way of uh, contesting the remote. And yeah, run a mock on the remote, so it runs. Uh, 
if ice is rezzed, I can trash one piece of ice. So it all depends how, how desperately he wants to keep us out. And it's a Kronos project in the remote. Uh, yeah, so a moment of doubt, but uh, yeah, and we score the Kronos and take the tag is so running early against Argus is definitely the way to go uh, click free getting rid of the tag uh, and then probably clicking KT or drawing and so I've been sitting on the medium but the medium is no good to play Yes, yeah, so the runner mock did its job there. It's not a terrible card, but it is expensive on f with free credits. Uh, so sitting on punitive and another world's plaza. So, so I think the idea is to get the sort of a super remote, maybe a couple of those dedicated response teams up and rezzed, and then put in put the runner into a horrible catch twenty two. You got to take the meat damage, got or take the tag, which will give you the meat damage. Um, film critic obviously is a big foil to Argus, but I'm not sure if anyone's playing there. So yeah, just a draw, install in advance. So I think Chris is still a bit flooded. Uh, we're on three points, we're on two. So I don't think I've got any tricks to get into that remote, so we might have to let that go. Uh, excuse me. So installing daily casts again, just uh, getting a bit of drip, keeping my money up. We really need to find that paintbrush. Paintbrush of the logos. Ah, we okay. Same old runner mucked. Uh, time is approaching on the round, uh, so he's playing the caduceus. Yep. So first trace, it's gain free credits. So gain free, and then with the second trace, it just end the run. So he bu he bumps it to trace free. Uh, so I can't comp contest. Uh, but run the muck, zaps the caduceus, and then I could. Worth it, he says. Um, mm, not sure. He's he's net one credit down, and I could just run again. Yep, so I'm going to let the first the negotiator run. Yeah, and break the uh, trash program. Yeah, because I kind of want to keep my key hole. Yeah, let's go for it. And, oh, that's another Atlas. And that's two minute call. <laughs> Uh, and I think I'm going to suffer the meat damage because I have a lot of Ivad Worse in hand. Uh, so Ivad Worse triggers. <laughs> uh, oh, and I think we just missed the uh, dreaded C word. <laughs> Thanks to Ivad Worse. So I've actually, that's a pretty good turn. I've gone to five, so we're looking good for a time to win. Can we. Can we do enough? There's uh, a Gila, a Gila Hands Arcology. Again, just a one pointer there. So again, it's kind of Argus running the uh, lots of the sort of small agendas. Uh, yeah, so you're just gaining free. So negotiate no no hard end the run on there, and you can always pay for it. It is two credits, but um, two off the casts. 
Wow, okay, so, yep, and I'm just in emergency money mode there. So Katie and taking, clicking uh, liberated three times, so. So I'm not sure if I drew the paintbrush, um, or if I'm just going to accept the meat damage. If I can keyhole, I will see quite a few cards. So 8, 13, 14, and he's just taking money, so I'm kind of in a hyper mode there. And yes, I did get the paintbrush, fantastic. And Chris is not happy with that. Uh, click one, paintbrush. Two, we've got to paint the, ch the checkpoint. Oh, and time is just called. So, I could go same old knifed. So I'm actually thinking, it is it is painted with a barrier. So same, so I'm, I'm sitting same old knife. Let me see one card, and actually keyhole. Yeah, so Quetzal to make it, and I'll keyhole. And yeah, we see a cleaners, uh, and run click four uh, to steal it for the for the win. Uh, and Chris says, "Yet yeah, two meat damage." And uh, yep, yeah, the challenge. Can you hit it? Got the Ivad worse in hand. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. So Chris seemed to be quite flooded uh, all all game. But uh, yeah. So turns out keyhole is pretty good. Uh, anyway, but yeah, got the paintbrush online. No surfer to be seen. No logos to be seen either. Which, but. I missed the uh, the only score, so maybe it wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, and uh, so that's the end of round two. I have to say that I had a runner split in the first round, so on three one after two rounds, and Quetzal, the breakless Quetzal, is undefeated. So uh, come back soon for uh, round three.